In this video, we want to find the limit as x approaches 0, tangent 3x over tangent 5x. So let's rewrite this in terms of sine and cosine. So tangent 3x is sine 3x over cosine 3x. And then tangent 5x is sine 5x over cosine 5x. And now we're going to multiply. So let's multiply sine 3x with cosine 5x. That's going to be over cosine 3x times sine 5x. Now the goal here is to use the fact that limit as x approaches 0 of sine, let's say, ax over ax is equal to 1. So we're here a is a real number. But in order to do that, we need to have ax. So what's ax here? Well, I'm going to multiply top and the bottom by 1 over x. So that's sine 3x over x, sine 5x over x. But I want it to be over 3x and 5x. So because I'm dividing by the 3 here, I need to multiply by the 3. So if you want to think of it, I'm multiplying by 1 over x, which is the same thing as 3 over 3x. And then 1 over x, same thing as 5 over 5x. So. Now I can multiply and I have 3 sine 3x over 3x times cosine 5x and that's over 5 times cosine 3x times sine 5x over 5x. Now a bunch of things simplify. so. Sine 5x over 5x is 1. Sine 3x over 3x is 1. And we have cosine 5x. Cosine 3x are also 1. So really, I guess what I should have done is use some properties and say, limit as x approaches 0, 3 times sine 3x over 3x times limit x approaches 0, cosine 3x, all over limit as x approaches 0, 5 cosine 3x times limit x approaches 0, sine 5x over 5x. So this would have been better, and then, okay, we say this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, and this is 1. Then we have 3 and 5 in the denominator, so it's like 3 times 1 times 1 over 5 times 1 times 1 and that's how we get three-fifths as our final answer.